guys, we are home in Portland, still at the airport though. We're, we're headed home. We're going through the maze, trying to get, get out of the um, parking lot. Yeah, it's like a rat maze. Anyway, um, it was a good overnight trip. Um, it was fun to celebrate with his brother and the family. It was good to see everybody. Um, the car that we rented in California um, was a Toyota. The people before no, us, it was a Volkswagen. Wasn't it oh, sorry, Volkswagen. I keep calling Jetta. it a Toyota. It's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. It was a black one. And um, people before us who rented it, the daughter is um, handicapped? handicapped, and they left a piece of her wheelchair in the back of the car, and Enterprise didn't notice. And honestly, we didn't either, which is weird because usually when we rent a car, we check the trunk and the front seat and the back seat, and we just didn't even see it. So we met up with them today and made sure they got the piece back. Very expensive piece, if you know anything about wheelchairs. It was like the battery pack and it, yeah. Um, and they were so gracious and they were she so was like, sweet. She was shaking. She was crying. She was crying. Yeah. yeah, anyway, they are in Nashville and um, they said, if we ever come that way, please reach out. We'd love to show you around. They're so sweet. Anyway, and they're headed to Yosemite. We told them, have a good time. But now we're gonna get home He's gonna drop me and the bags off and then he's got a Masonic thing to go do. And I'm just gonna stay home and chill and relax, so. Chillax. Chillax, yeah. It's been a fun day, but yeah, I just need some chill time. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is almost lunchtime on Monday, June 10th. I have a loaf of bread working downstairs. I made my appointment for my um, annual mammogram uh, and I finished my sweater. Um, so this is a, pattern based on the pattern of which I'll link her video down below the original patterns for a crop top so I'm 60 year old years old is a little too old for a crop top we don't want to see that but I really like the basis of her pattern and the measurements and as I've said before um, one of the differences I did was instead of starting with a chain I started with a ribbing and I did as many rows of ribbings ribbing as she said to do chains um, and then I've been doing just a short sleeve with ribbing on the armhole and then doing it longer with ribbing on the bottom. I have also done it with a split front. Um, instead of sewing up the ribbing when I'm done, I just leave it open and I actually make the ribbing like a few stitches shorter. Um, so, and I do six um, chain ri chain six ribbing on either side and leave it open. Now in this case, you can already see I did a button. I also did it a little bit bigger, which I kind of like, and this is a wool blend yarn, so it's gonna do different things when I wash it, but <clears throat> I also made it long sleeve. I figured out how to do it long sleeve. It fits really well, you guys. Yes, is the neckline a little big? Yeah, yeah, but this is gonna be a winter sweater. I don't mind that. I'm a generally a slouchy sweater kind of person anyway. It's super comfortable, doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. And yeah, really good. I found these three buttons in my mother-in-law's um, button jar, which I got after she passed away. And they're perfect for the sweater. And then I added a tag. I like it. And the sweaters do unbutton, by the way. If I want to wear it unbuttoned, I can do that. So, yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. And it hasn't been blocked yet, so this will, the neckline's going to change shape a little bit when I block it. I haven't done that yet. So, anyway, all right, that's it for right now. I'm going to have some lunch first, and then I guess I better edit the vlog. All right, I'll be back. Okay, the last of the two videos I needed to edit today is rendering at the moment. And when it's done, I'll get them uploaded to YouTube and scheduled. Um, I need to go check the mail. So it's been on informed delivery for a while that we're getting some kind of package from New York. Okay, I didn't order anything from New York. I swear, I swear. So I don't know what it is, but it's supposedly here. So we're gonna go find out. I know what it is. Staten Island, New York, Zeus Hyde. 
They have an Etsy shop. I'll link it below. They do my tags for my sweaters for me. And I ordered some more. Thank you guys. Totally forgot I ordered them. But you're a gem. All right. That's it for the minute. God, I need some. <coughs> yeah, I need some allergy medicine. I'll be back. It's the end of babysitting day, Tuesday, June 11th. Junior just went home a little while ago. I came upstairs and found one of my embroidery kits that I haven't done yet on the floor way out here. I That's weird. It's a little weird. Anyway, I came upstairs after Junior went home and caught up on my daily drawing and some writing and um, I'm going to start doing that here at the desk because I just, I love this desk so much. Um, I found out today via email, I have a another $5 voucher at Michael's. So I, I, I want to do a big canvas. I don't have one. So I might go pick one of those up sometime this week and start using up some of that yeah um but has gone home the drawings are done i can turn the light off over in the corner and sit and catch up on some youtube and stuff while husband is fin finishing up his work day and then i will keep working on niece's baby blanket which i started yesterday so it's all good junior is starting to say his first words and that's really fun of course, he's saying in them in baby speak, so you don't always understand the first time what he's trying to say. But yeah, anyway, it's pretty cute. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hello, everyone. Just FYI, since we changed out the radio in the car, you are kind of just propped up very precariously because I don't have a phone holder. Anyway, um, headed out to go run some errands. Gotta go. I think the main stop's gonna be Walmart, although there's a couple other stores close by if I can't find what I need. But we're gonna go get some errands done and then I want to continue working on or finish my niece's baby blanket and get that done. Um, yeah, there's more I could say. So lately there's been a couple of times where uh, off the subject of baby blanket and errands, by the way. <sighs> I've been art shamed, craft shamed for my collection of things upstairs. And my collection's not as big as some, could be much bigger. But regardless of size, you should never shame somebody for what makes them happy. And I'm just not okay with that. There is a meme or a saying going around. I'll try to find a copy of it and put the text here. So anyway, it's happened a couple of times in the recent, past, recent, in recent times. And I haven't really said anything, but that doesn't mean that's gonna stay that way because it doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, there's been some things that have been said that I don't think were intended to be hurtful, but were not okay with that. So anyway, 
Okay, take a deep breath. We're gonna go get some shopping done. I do need to get a few more bins for the art room. And I like the Y Weave bins at Target, but they're kind of pricey. <laughs> See, you fell over. They're kind of pricey, so Will I get them at Target? I don't know. There's a Target by where I'm going, so we'll see. I might get something at Walmart. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Anyway, I've got a list. I wrote it down so I don't forget anything because, yeah. All right, I'll be back. Why are there always gardeners when I turn and stuff when I turn on the camera? I know, like, we are... Hold on. We are out for a quick lunchtime walk with Junior. It's babysitting day, Thursday. I have to, after he goes home, I'm gonna catch up on some drawings and work on my next crochet project. Um, finished a project for my niece. She's gonna be having a baby in September. So that's all done. And yeah, otherwise quiet chill day, which is fine with me. Anyway, Junior seems to be in a great mood today, which is good. And we figured out, at least for the moment, I need to take two doses of asthma medicine every day, which is prescribed, by the way. I can get away with one most of the time, but not right now. So since I've been doing that, still coughing, but much less. But when you're in the middle of a <clears throat> retirement party with your brother-in-law people you don't know and you start coughing so hard you start crying um, you'll do what's necessary I'm not admitting that happened but yeah anyway I'll be back grandson has gone home I am going to take a post babysitting shower after I put the diaper changing stuff away and and sit and have some dinner and relax for a little while while Bob's at his meeting. He's at his Masonic meeting. He's a Freemason, for those that don't know. Anyway, hopefully I can get some crocheting done because I started on a tank top pattern with some of the thrifted yarn. And I'll put a link to the designer down below. It is not my pattern. And so far, I'm only a little bit into it, but she did a great job writing the pattern, so... Anyway, go check her out. All right, I think that's it. Oh, I have to do some drawings, maybe upstairs. No, I'm gonna do them tomorrow. Daily drawings, I'll catch up tomorrow. All right, I'll be okay. back. Uh, obviously I changed, took a post babysitting shower, um, ate dinner, had a cup of iced coffee. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna go upstairs for a second and we are going to do yesterday's and today's daily drawings do a little journaling about each day which i do for myself i don't really share what i write on youtube but it's a good practice just one <coughs> excuse me small sentence or something about your day good bad or indifferent um funny weird kooky you know anyway i'm gonna go to my new favorite part of the art room and do that. I'll be back. I got that done. It doesn't take long. Get stuff off of my mind. Gets a little drawing practice in so I don't get out of the habit. I just love it. Do the drawings always make sense? No. My daughter asked me once, mom, why do you draw the things you do? I have two different uh, word inspiration lists I draw from on the daily. And I thought about going back to just one. I like the two. I like putting 
two strange words or phrases together and then making a drawing. So the words for this day, which was June 7th, were mallow and pick a pile. I just, you know, once it was shoe and chicken or fried chicken, it might've been fried chicken. But anyway, I drew a shoe made out of fried chicken. Why not? So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. Time for some crocheting. I'll be back. It's been an interesting shopping morning. <laughs> um, I had a very nice young man, a very tall young man, help me get coffee down off a very high shelf at Walmart. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but it was much appreciated. I'm way too short to get that down from there. Um, and then I was backing out of my parking space at Walmart and three quarters of the way out of my space and somebody decided to come speeding up behind me, nearly hit me. And then I saw somebody make a left from the right lane. So, you know, I think it's time to go home. I'll okay. be back. I've been home for a few hours and ate lunch, did some cleaning and rearranging and relabeling things up here in the art room. And uh, mainly cleaning off the table because it was a disaster. Um, uh, yeah, and I recently updated some of my bins over here. These green ones on the bottom, love them and relabeled them. Um, I could have kept going with the plastic ones I had, but these hold slightly more and they fit the cubes better. Do I wish they had a half size bin like in the same color? Yes, but they don't. So anyway, the plastic is fine for the top. And I forgot to put this away. Uh, anyway, um, two of the four kids are coming over for dinner later. We're babysitting for um, junior, we're babysitting junior later for the other two. They're going out on a date night. Um, he'll be here in about an hour and a half or so. And I'm going to hopefully this weekend have some time to repot some house plants. So, um, we have a lot of ones that are overgrown, the current containers that they're in and or not doing very well. So we need to do some repotting of things. And yeah, so that hopefully is gonna happen this weekend. I am, because we have the grandson all the time. Um, moving plants around because we have the grandson all the time and he doesn't need to be into stuff. So there's that. Anyway, I'm gonna collect some things from up here as I did downstairs, take them downstairs put them in the game room. We'll still get some sun. And then hopefully this weekend, maybe tomorrow, um, I can get Mr. Hands to help me do some repotting, but we'll see. Anyway, I also wanna head down a little early before grandson comes. I wanna work on some crocheting and all that stuff. So I'll be hey back. Hey guys, so it is not Saturday. It's not Saturday night. Nope, it's Sunday. Um, I forgot to close the vlog last night. I don't have a good excuse either. We were just, you know, I started out my Saturday, it was really nice. Bob went out and did some shopping with adopted son-in-law, did some guy stuff, and adopted daughter and I just sat around the house drinking coffee and crocheting and chatting. It was just such a great morning for both of us. And then the boys brought lunch home and we all had lunch and then we did a few chores. I repotted a few plants and kept crocheting and watching TV. We are hooked right now on uh, why women kill. Kill. Why I, women kill. It's hopefully on, that word doesn't get me demonetized, but we'll find out. It's on um, Paramount, Paramount Plus. Plus. And we stayed up until midnight last night watching it, which is probably partly why I forgot to close the vlog. Anyway, um, as always, I'm trying creative ways to squeeze um, what I want to do artistically into everyday life, spending time with the family and the grandson, and hopefully giving you guys some idea of how you can do the same. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out the video description for relevant links and ways to support the free content. It is Father's Day, and I'll be saying this in this vlog and next vlog. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, including my husband. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna go spend some time with the kids, but I'll see you next week. Bye guys.